Hi Virgo, it's Elle here to do your August 2018 general reading. It's a general reading. It will not resonate with everyone who views the video, but if it does resonate with you, like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, make sure you comment below because it automatically enters you to win a free reading with me. Um, yeah, okay, so about comments commenting below let's keep our comments positive this is a positive channel it belongs to all of us not just me um if you see negative comments please report you know that comment that person we don't need it we already are dealing with things in our own life we don't need to come to this channel and then you know have to read stuff that just doesn't need to be there okay all right so we're going to police our channel, all right? So those who come here to say negative things, you will be silenced, all right? I think so. Anyway, let's jump into it. I hope that everybody did have a really good July and um, they did everything that they could do to manifest positivity and change in their lives uh, going forward, especially uh, for the, the blood moon, the lunar eclipse that we had uh, on the 27th okay so let's jump into it a lot of you guys are feeling burden about something burden and confusion the bur the confusion comes from the burden the burden is for some emotional for some it is like heavy taxing your energy physical oh. some of you I, some of you I'd rather be working than home that just came up I don't know what that means for whomever some of you know that there is a spouse or a partner who is engaging with other people we could say cheating or keeping options open or whatever um you know it and you just stay in it because you can't see a way out of it some of your partners are um very cold mean at times or this is you Virgo I don't know somebody's cold someone's mean and they um, it's unresolved issues between you two so you guys take turns with somebody's doing whatever they want to do engaging with other people and then the other person is mean and cold Um, some of you, it's a house move, it's a job move, it's an upward, upward move. Um, you put a lot of work, a lot of time into this. Some of you are feeling frightened about the move, whether it's physical, whether it's job, whether, I don't know. Uh, there's a, a bit of, you know, apprehension in, um, anxiety about it you don't know if you'll be good at it or it just requires a little bit more of you um health is highlighted some of you need to get back to a healthy regimen or institute one in your life um that's there somebody it's like highly materialistic, like they equate success with material value. And it's causing a rift in what could be a really good relationship for you. It's someone external to you. They feel this way about you or vice versa. Some of you miss your children. Adult children are playing a part in this. Some of my older Virgos you miss adult children they miss you or it's just a disconnect I just see work 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 for some of you, you feel like you'd rather be at work than at home 
Okay, let's see what the cards have to say about us about situations. Okay. Alright, so we'll start with love. Alright, so we're gonna pull four cards. Oh. <laughs> we're gonna pull four cards for love. Thank you for the love messages for Virgo. Four cards for Virgo. For love. Take it, we'll go with it. Bottom of the deck, the seven of air. Wow, yeah, someone may not be completely being honest, doing something sneaky behind your back. Their back could be dealing with the air sign who's, you know, keeping options open. Let's get four cards for career and finance. Um, some of you need to devise plans of action here with the seven of air or the seven swords plans need revision um write the plan or write the vision and make it plain um it doesn't have to be super complicated some of you are writing something uh, writers uh, book narratives i don't know you're a writer something about writing career finance for art. okay and um some of you needed to keep something a secret. Or someone's trying to keep you a secret or you're trying to keep someone else a secret, Virgo. Let's see. It's a soulmate energy too. I mean, whatever you think a soulmate is, I can't define that for it. I mean, everybody gets on here on YouTube and tries to define that and put, you know, place that title on every relationship but something it's like kindred spirits like you you feel warm with another person but it's like you gonna have to compromise it's like they look at you in a different light than what you're thinking all right at the bottom of the deck butterfly oracle cards family changes right. ace of diamond newness in that career and finance at the bottom of the deck Let's get some angel answers. So if you've got a question out there, a question of when and how and whatever, the angel answers are here for you, okay? So let's get some questions answered. I'm just feeling like Virgo's at a place where some of you are single, you're at a place of um, wanting partnership, like real partnership, dating, and then some of you are partner and wanting to get away, um, but not knowing how and feeling stuck and trapped. All right, bottom of the deck, not the right time. All right, so that's for somebody out there. All right, so let's get into it for love. Queen of Fire. The devil, eight of earth, page of earth. Looks like Virgo, that's what I've seen all this work. Uh, Virgo wants to, it's definitely third party situation. Queen of fire is typically the other woman or other man, but you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. Looks like somebody wants to keep something hidden, uh, a third party situation hidden. Well, how they're doing it is masking it with work I'm at work or I'm doing work or something surrounding work but even in the midst of that it looks like Virgo or vice versa whomever you're dealing with is really trying to start something solid with you and it has the potential like we saw on the shelves to be really good it's just that you have to get in control of yourself get in control of your addiction get in control of um, some of you, your emotions, some of you have some mental issues. You or the other person you're dealing with. And it is causing somebody seeing you for, in a different light. 
Let me see in a different light. Anyhow, you're trying to keep something a secret in regards to masking it with work or at work or keeping a secret work relationship going on. Could be dealing with the air sign Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and, uh, another Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Capricorn is here. Yeah, somebody's masking something with work. All right, let's keep going. Career and finance. We have the Ace of Diamonds. We've got a new start, a new foundational start of a business. This could be engagement. This could be, I mean, it could be anything that's foundational and something you can build upon. A new job, um, a new way of uh, bringing in income, a start of a new business. Even if it's, you know, uh, what do you call it? Like, side work or side hustle whatever We've got the ten of spades the jack of spades the seven of clubs the five of diamond family changes at the bottom of the deck for the butterfly oracle it looks like you're moving away from maybe an old job or an old career because there's prosperity and success elsewhere for some of you this is relationship ending something maybe with an air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius Psychic abilities being heightened in the midst of dealing with this person as we saw in the shells. Some of you know that someone is keeping options open or they know this about you, vice versa. Um, you might have to cut something out. But in the playing cards deck, it talks about success in marriage and home. These aren't very successful cards. Um, it might be highlighted or known psychically to someone else to you or someone else that you can have success in marriage and home once you put an ending to something with maybe an air sign gemini libra aquarius um it's betrayal though because you're ending something with one to jump to another uh, maybe with a capricorn virgo taurus like yourself or someone who comes up in that energy even a fire sign um, you could have some great success here and it not only can it be a successful relationship or engagement or whatever um, money it looks like money is tied to this person or financial endeavors or stability let's jump to the butterfly oracle keep the faith forgiveness retirement All right um so family changes family changes at the bottom of the deck can be anything someone exiting a home entering a home uh the birth of a baby baby comes home family changes um moving home uh i mean it could be anything in, in regards to family purchasing a new car purchase you know making remodeling in the home anything to do with family um some someone tells you that they're pregnant you're pregnant virgo i mean it could be anything uh keep the faith for some of you it feels like it's a long time coming maybe in in a situation you know you're it's, it's if you're trying to get out of something and trying to see your way out with that seven of air but um there is um stagnation there's indecision and i think there's sentimental feelings here someone may have caused this for you the ultimate betrayal feeling blindsided, backstabbed, or you've done this to someone else, Virgo, in which in either in either uh, aspect, you, you either need to ask for forgiveness or you need to render forgiveness to someone else. Um, it, I think it will, you know, um, 
remove the blockage there. Retirement. Retirement, of course, it, it can mean, uh, you know, you're concerned about the longevity, you know, of um, your financial situation and, and how it will take you or where it will take you. But also retirement talks about uh, job change, uh, the time and energy that you put into a job. Maybe you'll be able to put less into the way you do work because you found newness here with the Ace of Diamond in regards to uh, income and money. Um, you'll be able to do less work but still maintain yourself and maintain your way of life uh, because you have you're at a place of retiring uh, having to put so many hours into um, gaining income you've done the work you've done it for a long time with the aid of earth here it also talks about finding new outlets of of making money, money streams coming in. Yeah. Okay, angel answers. Compromise. Wow, this fell out out of the deck for you when I was shuffling off camera. You have to compromise. Like we saw that in the shells. There's something really good for you, external to you, or someone good for you, external to you. Um, but there has to be compromise. You have to you know put yourself in another person's position shoes um, compromise if you're not willing to do that let it go meditation brings answers okay keep the faith within the next few months this could be that job change this could be family changes But not right now. Not the right time, though, at the bottom of the day. But within the next few months. So whatever answers you have out there, I mean, questions you have out there, here are the answers for you uh, by way of the Angel Answers cards um, deck. Okay, so I'll leave you with this quote, Virgo. Um, so it says, uh, show me a self-centered person and I'll show you a dissatisfied person because there is nothing in self that can satisfy. Dear Prince. Um, so, I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys know what I mean. You, you're Virgo, pretty smart. Um, it goes back to what we saw on the shelves. Um, someone looks at you as very materialistic. And if that's what you are, then then own it. Um, and if you feel like you need to defend yourself in regards to that statement or in regards to how someone feels about you, um, defend yourself. If you don't, you don't, you know, but own that. And also in the midst of someone feeling like you're very materialistic, um, they may even feel like you're self-centered just a bit. Or a lot. Um, know that we're all connected. No one man, no one woman is an island. We need each other in different ways. Whether we want to admit it or not, compromise. But you, you're going to have to get to a place of uh, reducing the ego. And um, allowing someone to come in and see you for you. See the flaws and all. Wow, so much. Beyonce references anyway um, <laughs> yeah you're gonna have to allow someone to see you and you're gonna have to see someone else in a different light because I think right now what they're getting is shallow is um, surface they only seeing you on the surface and maybe what you are displaying is not um, completely you so if, if there's someone you're wanting to get next to, get closer to, uh, lay down the ego, show who you really are. Be honest, too. Seven of Air talks about liars and cheats. Be honest. Get to the core of things with the page of earth here so that you can start building something really good. Because in the shells, there's someone external to you who's really good for you, really good for your growth 
and, and you know holistically and um, but they're not viewing you it's almost skewed so you have opportunity to turn that around Virgo uh, because the likeness is there they do like you and you like them so anyhow if you feel like this reading resonated with you please like share comment subscribe to the channel it's much appreciated all of my information is below of how to contact me for a personal reading if you're uh, feeling moved to do that um, Virgo uh, remember to stay in prayer meditation brings answers because I am praying for you pray for me as well take care guys